This is what you need to run the popsicle stick bridge competition. The one thing that I don't have here is some weights. So when you run the competition, you won't need it for the whole time, but you'll need some, some kind of weight or a press. Um, I just use, I go to the gym and just get some flat plates, the stuff that you put on the bench press. I usually like to try and put them on top of the bridge, but if that doesn't work, that's why I've got this bucket. So basically I put the bridge under here and then I fill this full of weights if it doesn't work. If you have a press, you can definitely use that. You probably get, if you've got some kind of way to tell how much pressure you're putting on, you'll get a much more accurate result. I like doing it this way, just with weights, because you get a little bit of drama and kids come around and everyone watches it and everything like that. Okay, so that's the first thing. You also need um, your popsicle sticks. These ones, um, they come in groups of 50, so they're so easy to split up between people, um, whereas the other ones don't. And the quality of these ones is better than the other ones. So if you're local, I think, to, I used to order these through Office Max, but they don't do it anymore, so I'm trying to chase someone who does it. This is the one that I got last. These are called stirrers, and they're basically the same thing, really except they're square on the edges instead of round. And the quality just isn't as good. Um, yeah, they're less uniform. Some of them have got defects in them and stuff, but generally they're, they're fine to use. As long as everyone's using the same, that's fine. Um, you'll also need a hot glue gun. Um, I've got one, I've got quite a few of these, one for every group at least you'll need, and plenty of glue sticks because the kids go through it. You want to put something down on the tables as well, so whether you use newspaper or whatever, just because the hot glue usually gets everywhere. You'll need the car. So the way I run the bridge competition is, one of the rules is a car has to be able to cross over the bridge. Because I've had students before brace the bridge right in the middle and it kind of, it made it a lot stronger, but it kind of ruined the fact that it is a bridge. So I use this car. It's about two thirds the width of a popsicle stick, so it's pretty much perfect in my opinion, but you can use whatever you want to use really. You could make it out of wood, just a wood block of approximate size. Yeah, and I just find that, you know, it makes it a little bit more sort of, fills in a bit more detail for kids by using that example. For the testing section, um, I've got this um, food scale and Basically, um, the kids just test the strength of the popsicle sticks on this. I also use it if I get bags of a thousand to like divvy up 250 sticks. Um, so I make that easy. Um, another couple of jigs here that you use. So these are easy to make and I've got them on a different, um, on a different video. This one is just for bending strength and this one is a bit of a um, for tensile strength, it helps even out the clamp, and you'll see that later. Uh, is there anything else? No. When you're actually running the competition, I use two tables from the theory room, make sure they're exactly the same height. I made this little jig here, and basically it's just a piece that's 600 wide, and then a piece that's a bit longer. And you know, when all the students are around and everyone wants to know who's gonna win, and etc., etc. I just put it in there and make sure the tables, because they do move and students will try to move it and everything. Um, so yeah, that's, I recommend making a spacer for whatever your distance is. And then I put something down below just so it doesn't break anything really. So I just use a drop sheet, usually I'll chuck two down there. Because with me, I put the weights on, so I'm just putting the weights on and then it'll break and obviously go on the floor, I don't want to damage anything. But yeah, that's basically everything you need to get started or everything that I use to get started.